So in this instructional, Brandon, and what we're doing today, I think you want to concentrate on the De La Hiva Guard. That's right. Can you set it up for us a little bit? How do you get into the De La Hiva Guard? What is it and why, why do you use it and when do you use it? Definitely. So what the De La Hiva Guard is, is it's going to be an open guard. So our legs aren't going to be locked. It's not like your typical closed guard or your half guard where you have a real grip on the guy with your legs. It's going to be open guard. There's a variety of different versions of open guard. Um, specifically, we're talking about today, like you said, the De La Hiva Guard, which is it's usually a guard you're going to use when the person stands up. So I would call it a long range guard. If a guy is very close to you, he's on his knees, you know, uh, closed guard, half guard, butterfly guard, those are great things to do. But when a guy is standing up, it's he's too far away. It's harder to reach him. So you need some sort of long range guard. And the Daily Heba guard is, I think, one of the best. Basically, you have Daily Heba and you have Spider guard uh, and a kind of a cross collar classic guard. Those are the main op uh, standing long range guards. And today we're going to focus on that Daily Heba guard. So let me just show what it looks like, and then I'll show how to set it up. So a basic Daily Heba guard. Let's go this way. Usually his stance is gonna be staggered, okay? So he's gonna have one leg forward, one leg back. And the way it's gonna look is, I'm gonna be controlling his ankle here or his pants here, okay? And typically the way I decide what I want is if the guy you know, has a true ankle, I'm gonna grab that. If he has what we call cankles, where his calf just goes straight to his foot, you really can't get a good grip on it. So that's what I'm gonna grab uh, the pant leg. Okay, also I'm going to do that on a guy who is incredibly spazzy, who's like just jumping all over the place. Sometimes I'll go here because it's a, a little more secure grip. But as you can see, there is some give, so that's a little bit of a drawback there. The heel is a little bit more secure. But you got to find which works best for the, for the situation. Okay, now once I get this here, this foot is going to wrap around and I'm gonna hook on the inside. So let me just turn this way a little bit. So I'm hooking on the inside there. There's different ways to put this foot. It can be here, it can be all the way across here. For our purposes, for this instructional, it's almost always gonna be right there. So I have a good grip on his leg with the heel or the pants and this hook inside. Then this foot is gonna be on his thigh here, maybe on his hip, but typically on the thigh. And then this hand is gonna reach and get the cross sleeve. So I'm gonna be here. There's different ways I can hold the guy. People play this daily heel position a lot of different ways, Stefan. Yeah. You know, some people like to hold here. Some people like to hold the collar. And I think it really just depends on what your, your I would say your end game or your final goal is gonna be. Most people are gonna have a tendency towards a certain sweep or a certain style of sweeping and that's definitely the case with what we're going to be learning today uh, with this whole instructional. So I like this sleeve because of the the principal sweep that we're going to be using. Okay. This helps set it up and I feel like this gives me the most control because I have grips on both sides of his body. So I kind of keep him, he, he can't go either way easily. So you're sense? controlling both sides of my body and lower body and upper body. That's right. That's right. So there's, there's nothing wrong with holding here or holding here. However, each grip is really going to determine what attacks are going to be available to you. And the, the main attacks we're going to go over today are all going to be off this grip right here. Okay. Now, some easy ways to get into this. Of, of course, if, you know, if I was sitting and you were standing, it would be pretty much as simple as scooting into the guy, catching his leg, setting your feet up, and then when he engages his hands, getting your grip there. You know, that would be really simple. But let's look at it from a position, like let's say I had you on my clothes guard. So, you know, pretty much everybody who's done any amount of jiu-jitsu is going to be, they know what the clothes guard is, okay? One of the main ways that, that I'm going to set this up is when the guy stands up. Again, we talked about a long range guard, that's definitely what Daily Heva is. So I'm usually gonna have a grip on him somehow. It might have been like this, it might have been like this. Let's say for the sake of, of uh, right now, I just had two sleeves here. So when he stands up, and I, I realize my legs are gonna open, I wanna preempt it, 
And what I'm gonna do is set my grips up while my legs are still locked. So I have the far sleeve that I want, and now I'm just gonna let this hand slide to his, his heel or his pants. You know, pick what you want there, either one is fine. And then I'm gonna actively drop my hips here. Boom. And I wanna try to get my feet on his hips, and I wanna, as I push him, he can't step this leg back, so he needs to step this one back to keep his balance. So when that happens, now I get that staggered stance that I talked about earlier, and then I can rearrange my feet. One, two. And you see how I raise my hip up? That gives this leg, uh, in effect what it does, is it kind of gives you more reach. So from here, it's a little bit awkward for me to get my leg in, and if you don't have a very flexible knee, it can be a little bit hard. So if you use the foot here to move your body and you give yourself more length, once the hook gets set, it's easy to keep. Yeah. And then again, here I am. So if we look at that one more time, I'm in the closed guard. Let's say I had a different grip. Let's say I had a traditional grip here. You stand up. I'm going to catch. I'm just going to change my grip. So once I, I feel here and I, and, I, and I realize that, you know, my legs are going to open at some point. I'm just going to go ahead and change my grips get it all set up, and then I'm gonna slide off, feet to the hips, push him back. He has to stagger because I have this foot, and now I'm gonna rearrange my legs. One, two, and I'm always pulling this sleeve tight, kind of locking my elbow to my hip if I can. I have a good grip here, good tone with my legs, and I'm ready to go. Another way, really common way that we might set this up is in a a different open guard situation called spider guard, which some people are probably familiar with. And it's just really a matter of changing up our feet is all we're really doing. So when I'm in the spider guard here, so I have two sleeves grip and my feet in the biceps, this is very common. And all I want to do is just kind of rearrange my feet. So I'm always going to attack, if his legs are staggered, I'm going to go for that lead leg. So he's got his left leg forward, I'm going to attack that leg. So what I want to do is, I'm generally going to cross hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot here, and this hand is going to go right there. So the reason I put my foot here is because if I just let go, he may release that grip, step that leg back. This isn't so great for me. He can throw my, yeah, it's not going to be good. So when I do that cross hook with my leg, that's going to hold him in place a little bit. He can't run away. It's going to give me time to go like that. Once I go here, then I can start to rearrange my feet, putting my foot, raising my hip, and putting that hook in. If I want to break that grip, it's as simple as taking my foot off, kicking and pulling, popping it loose, and now going back and locking this in place. So one more time. If I'm in the spider guard here, I'm just going to find what leg is forward. If his legs were square, I would just pick the one that I wanted. Okay, so if his legs are square here, I'm just going to go to this side, hook, and then the hand goes right here. Move your butt a little bit, swing this leg to the outside, stretch him away, and there I am. Again, if he has a grip there, you don't have to break it, but if you want to, you're going to kick and pull, boom, and now I'm back to that good De La Hiva position. That's the kind of the, or not kind of, it is the basic De La Hiva position. Like I said, the main variation you're going to find is how people prefer to grip. And it's usually the second hand. Most people will, will control the heel of their pants, but then they're going to, depending on what sweep and what style of sweep they like to use, they're going to catch the far sleeve, the near sleeve, the collar. People who want a barambola usually go for the collar. People who want to go for the back in, in a more traditional way typically go for the near sleeve. People who want to feed the sleeve in between the legs, which is what we're going to be doing today, control uh, control that that far sleeve. Well, I know you've got a whole bunch of really cool stuff that you want to show today. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to showing. Controlling his ankle here. This foot is going to wrap around. This hand is going to reach to get the cross sleeve. 